Machine learning is not easy, and it is especially not easy to become a self-taught machine learning engineer. But that is exactly what I did, and over the last couple of years, I've worked with numerous companies as a machine learning engineering consultant to help them implement ML into their products. But I actually started from absolute scratch, and in this video, I'll show you guys exactly what are the five important lessons I've learned and the five important steps you guys can take in order to learn machine learning from scratch. And the main reason why I'm making this video is I know that a lot of people are interested in getting into ML at this time, but they might not have the resources or even time to spend on getting a specialized degree or even going back to university. So in this video, that is exactly what I'll be covering. I got interested in machine learning when I was taking my bachelor's in computer science, but my bachelor's degree was absolutely unrelated to machine learning. However, what I decided was for my thesis research paper, I would actually do it on machine learning, on a machine learning topic. And that on hindsight was an absolutely bold move, but that actually really worked out for me because it really forced me to put myself out there and self teach myself machine learning by taking a lot of different courses online and reading a lot of different research papers and books. So although that was a very difficult time, but it was a very important aspect in for me, for me to actually get started with ML and start my career in ML. One of the mistakes I made early on and I instantly realized is that I had to really understand my own learning pace and really own it which I suggest that you guys do as well. So I actually believe that by completing one machine learning course, I would master ML. And that was absolutely not true. And this is something that you have to keep in mind as well. Personally, I consider it as an achievement if I take an ML course and I understand and take away 10% of it. So that's an achievement for me. So keep a, guide li a guideline like that for yourself because that is going to be extremely important. This really helped me to pace myself and also be patient with myself when I was learning machine learning. And this also allowed me to look at a lot of different resources. So not just courses, but important books and research papers, famous research papers within ML. So these are actually key steps that you guys should be taking when you're learning machine learning. The second thing which I realized very early on is to not obsess over the right language or the right tool or Python library that I should be picking up. Instead, I should be focusing on the problems that I want to be solving. And I think that has really helped me and shaped me into the type of machine learning engineer that I am today. I'm very problem oriented and I really look at problems and how exactly machine learning could be useful in solving a problem instead of focusing on the tools. A really important article slash course that I'll recommend, which is really uh, highlighting this aspect is actually Google's machine learning crash course. So just the introduction of that course is very important because they really talk about problem framing in machine learning. And that is a very important aspect. So problem framing in machine learning is taking a look at a problem that you're facing and really try to, trying to identify if machine learning would be a good tool to use in order to solve that problem or could you just use something else in order to solve it. So this is something that I will be linking in the description box below. If you're interested, you guys can check it out. And this is an absolutely free resource as well. The next thing I want to highlight is if you are someone who is transitioning into machine learning from a career slash job, don't feel that you can only work on a serious machine learning project after you switch into a machine learning engineering career. Take advantage of the fact that you have a lot of domain knowledge about your existing industry. And that means that you know a lot of key problems which exist in your industry. Think about if machine learning could be useful in solving some of these problems. And that would be an excellent project to work on and a serious machine learning project to work on. This is something that you could even think about to bring up to your company or even your team and try to identify ways in which you can implement ML into your current domain. The fourth and most important thing that I wanna stress is don't ask for permission. 
You don't need me or someone else to tell you that you can learn machine learning. You have to start telling yourself that. And this is a mindset which is very important, especially if you want to be a self-taught machine learning engineer. Of course, there are a lot of resources that you guys should pay attention to. And of course, a lot of things like roadmaps will definitely help. So that's why I've actually went ahead and created a roadmap for absolute beginners on how you can learn machine learning from scratch. And that is broken down into five different steps, including learning the math, the probability, uh, Python for machine learning, as well as machine learning fundamentals and a lot of different projects as well. So the link to the roadmap will be in the description box. You guys can check that out. And last but not least, keep learning. Machine learning is one of the fastest growing fields out there just because of the a huge amount of interest in it, as well as the huge amount of investment being done into research in ML. So we are going to see a lot of big changes over the next couple of years. So it's really important that you keep up to date with what's happening within ML. Find something that you're interested in because there's so many different subfields within machine learning to be interested in. Computer vision is an entirely different field of its own. Uh, natural language processing as well. So find something that really interests you. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and like as that really helps me out to make this amazing content. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next one.